Right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a uh, Virgo Rising weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to March 29th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being set aside, moving straight away to the reading itself. Now the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Virgo, is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic uh, here of the week. That is to be the Knight of Pentacles. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Nine of Swords. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the um, Ace of Wands here. Followed next, uh, we do have the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the Ten of Wands. And the last one that we do have here is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the Seven of Cups. So uh, straight away, what uh, stands out here, it is the Ace of Wands. Uh, that is the most important card, hand, hands down into the reading. And this is where we are, gonna st we are going to start from. So gifts and blessings. Um, I'm going to take the card just one second. So gifts and blessings here, it's uh, that you are going to be uh, involved into an amazing surprise with the Ace of Wands. That is going to be your uh, the gift for you that comes from the universe. Because the Ace of Wands really speaks of a gaining for opportunity or a gaining for enterprise that you are going to be a participant into. Now that enterprise itself is going to be a bit... Um, strange in the sense of that you may you are not going to have a complete clue how to pretty much tackle with it or in generally how to pretty much perform into this either an amazing project that you are going to be given uh, or an opportunity that you're going to be given into your career or uh, this for example a man or a woman that's out of nowhere starts texting you and shows real interest but you don't know them very well so you are afraid to just uh, express your opinion because you don't know if your opinion is going to repose them or not and etc etc so pretty much here the ace of wands kind of speaks that while you are going to be gifted with a uh, and an opportunity to make your life more happier here throughout the week virgo also it's going to be that fear of you losing it because you are not going to know what the uh, straight away the appropriate measure that you are going that you will have to take in order to sustain that opportunity and again you will not know the right measure that doesn't mean that you're not going to take the right measure because every action to you at least for throughout the week is going to look at a, a shot in the darkness and either you hit your target or uh, or you miss it but nonetheless guys as it is a uh, gifts and blessings and especially looking at the next cards here i'm going to tell you one secret it doesn't look like that uh, you can do something to blow the thing off unless it's something very very extreme okay like uh, for example that's um you know that someone who starts texting you messaging you and kind of shows interest in you and you kind of like start cursing them okay like saying f you and i uh, and all these kind of stuff and you kind of behave inappropriately all right but in generally with the ace of wands here um the whole endeavor that 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 it is in front of you with that very gaining for enterprise i kind of it's meant for you to learn okay it's meant for you to develop either skills or in generally a potential that have been slumbered up until this moment and just to give you an example of it you know if that is someone who shows an interest in you and you have been single for quite a long time well then well then that is happening so you can overcome your shyness okay so you can kind of open yourself up a little bit more to the world and to those that are showing interest in you so uh, pretty much that's this is the gift and blessing and this is where everything is going to start from and that is what is going to provoke the situation and energies that are to feed up the situation and these are the two cards here that are showing exactly this so we do have four of pentacles and we do have the knights of pentacles so energy wise knights of pentacles here points that the more this gaining for enterprise resides within your life into your uh, daily routine the more you are going to become convinced 
this is exactly what you needed and this is exactly what you wanted and the more it stays there the more you're going to get the hang of it how to tackle with it in general and the more your actions and your words and whatever you say or whatever you do it will be supported with stronger and stronger determination in other words you're going to really show to the world that you do deserve this and you do want this and you are nothing less than what than 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 what can achieve it in the sense of that you can really pull it through one way or the other um and that will be shown here exactly into the way how you approach the whole situation with uh, these energies that you're going to be more careful than reckless and also more uh, meticulous and thorough if you will when it comes to especially a physical endeavors okay like dates like uh, physical performance into projects for example you do have a very important meeting with a, a new customer here that your company wants to impress and they have assigned you to impress that customer so you're gonna with these energies you're gonna really make your homework you're going to scrutinize the business of that customer top to bottom or bottom to top and they cannot catch you unprepared whatsoever although you may not have a clue up until this moment what that customer uh, was um, their business was all about and that leads us to the situation itself which is awesome here for you Virgo it's simple as that you're going to be able to establish a secure future for yourself that is the situation okay so we do have an enterprise then come in which is very gaining for you attend to it appropriately although you are to be afraid that you're going to do something wrong however you ain't going to that fear it is just within your mind and based on your performance here you are to secure your future either career-wise or either relationship-wise or why don't you do it in both of those uh, of those fields um <clears throat> Now I want to tell you here, looking at those cards, the fear of you losing it, it will be quite severe. And that could be seen here into the third card, which is the uh, Nine of Swords. And it does represent exactly that. You are to be more, you, you will allow the thoughts of the consequences in case you do lose that opportunity to dwell within your mind. Okay, so example, again, uh, you kind of have that amazing person to talk with, to date with, for example, you know, and, and in generally to get closer to each other with, attempt, with an, an, an attempt, excuse me, moving forward into the future to make a relationship. And the more the time passes, the more you get closer to one another, the more that fear that you can lose that person is going to start residing within your mind. And the challenge here, it is to confront the fear, okay? in a sense of that you have to accept that that, that, that is something that can happen, okay? And uh, uh, one way or the other, tomorrow is promised to no one, which is kind of like a uh, sad, giving the current situation of the world, you know, and, and how the world stands, but that's true. Tomorrow is promised to no one. And what you can focus on is today. Only thing that matters, it is, today what you can do today in order to improve your circumstances and this is something that you need to keep into your mind and uh, it's simply this will help you to overcome the fear of whatever consequences you think your actions are going to produce that will um, make you lose whatever you have um, although it doesn't look like that you will be able to blow it off at least not throughout this week guys I mean, you have to put quite a lot of uh, efforts in order to do so. But generally, this is what the challenge is here is to just banish the thought that that could end. Because in our country, we do have that. Um, uh, it's kind of like a, a, a creed, if you will, the power of the mind. And if you think that you're going to lose something, inevitably, you're going to lose it one way or the other. So you have to banish the negative thoughts from your mind. And that is to be the... Um, the challenge that you will have to withstand uh, throughout this week. So uh, how people are going to take at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around here. We do have the Ten of Wands. So people are truly going to see you busting your A for uh, this uh, enterprise and for this opportunity. People are really going to see you that you are giving everything you got in order to sustain it, not to 
uh, how can I say it, not to uh, stabilize it, not to make it secure. You already made it secure. It will be secure for you throughout this week, but you're gonna busting your A here or your butt in order to sustain it for a, a long distant future. That being said, 10 of, 10 of ones here points that people are gonna see you as someone who, who hit the jackpot, but also that with this jackpot, there is a lot of responsibilities coming in that you have to tackle with moving forward into the future, you know, either career wise or either relationship wise as well. Now, needless to say here, it is that um, there are to be some expectations from those around that you're going to slip one way or the other. That could be especially true if you do have any competition that it is residing out there in the sense of that they will wait for you to make a wrong thing so you can lose what the gaining for opportunity is for you and so they can retake your place. Sadly for them, that ain't going to happen, like I said, throughout this week, but you have to address everything as a, that appears as a circumstance into this gaining for opportunity very very seriously i mean you if you think that you can get away with a lot of things that's not true okay as a matter of fact looking at those cards you may not be able to get away with much uh, with much stuff if with anything but um ever but the things you gotta do the right way to do them i mean the right way to talk with someone or the, the right way to to uh, and throw a customer and etc etc it will come naturally to you so everything that these cards are asking from you to do is just to be yourself and to do your homework okay make your research make your reconnoitering if you will but at the end of the day just try to be yourself because if you try to be someone else or something else eventually at the end of the day you can't keep on doing that forever and once again it's gonna blow up in your face not that not this week but maybe a few weeks moving down the road maybe a year maybe a couple of years 10 years but the longer you you sustain it on a fountain on a false pretense the harder afterwards you're gonna fall from a uh, a great height uh, or from a high place so moving next uh, and the last one here is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering and now nine of cups uh, once again that is another card that points that you are shielded from a uh, utter loss in a sense of that uh, even if in some rare occasions you do something inappropriate, at least for throughout this week, before the things get out of hand, you are to be reminded from the universe as you are going to start feeling yourself disappointed, which is going to bounce you back at the starting position and you can give it a another go. But the more profound guidance that this card is giving here, it is that this enterprise that you are to experience throughout the week, Virgo, I could exceed by a large margin your current expectations, okay? And uh, whatever you are fantasizing about, as, as soon as the, um, you are to fantasize about as soon as this enterprise come around, it actually can come true, okay? It may look silly at the start, it may look ridiculous, at some, for some of you even preposterous, but it actually can become true. Because uh, Nine of Cups here points as a guidance. It is that your dreams and hopes and fantasies, are they seeds growing? It's yet remain to be knowing. So, you know, everything is, to, is possible as in an unfoldment of this new friendship, new relationship, new project, new job, you know, or in generally a, a new gaining for enterprise that comes your way. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, March 23rd to March 29th, 2020. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And depending on the service you choose to purchase, uh, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. So um, stay safe now, guys, and hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.